In this video, I'll show you how to convert an MOV file to an MP4 file. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like, I'd really appreciate it. And please do watch this video right until the end of so the full steps. Without any further ado, let's go and jump into this. Here we are on my desktop and in the middle, we've gone and got the dot move, which I want to go and convert to an MP4 file. So the first thing we need to do is go and open up a web browser. I'm personally using Google Chrome. And once you've opened it up you then just need to go to a search engine and I'm using Google now what we need to do is go and search for a program called VLC media player just like so so this plays files but it also has a convert function in it and I'm showing you exactly how to go and use it so go and search for it and the domain is videoland.org at the moment and um, so go and click on it just like so and right in the middle we've gone and got this big download button so go and click on it just here if you want more options go and click on the downwards arrow and there are a bit few more options here but clicking download VLC should get you the right file as it automatically detects which type of computer on and this also does work for Mac as well which is really useful so all you need to do is wait for this to download it's around 40 megabytes and then once it's finished downloading just go and install it just like any other normal program just follow the installer instructions and I'll continue the video once you've gone and installed it so once you've gone and installed it then all we need to go and do is go and open it up so come to the bottom left where we've got this magnifying glass which is our search icon open it up and go and search for VLC media player as you can see, it's automatically come up for me. So all you want to do is go and click on it. And here we are. So all you then need to do is go up to this top row here and go and click on media and then come down to convert slash save. Click here and we've got a few different options here for opening our media. You want to go and make sure file is selected and then under file selection, go to the right hand side where it says add and then you need to go and locate the file. So mine is on my desktop, so it's already here, but you can go and check out your whole computer. So go and click on it once and then go and click open. Then once you go and do that, you then need to go and click convert slash save in the bottom, and then it's gonna go and open up our convert settings. So then all you want to do is make sure convert is selected and you want to come down to profile. Now here, probably nothing's gonna be selected. Make sure you go and locate video for MPEG4 1080p TV slash device. There are quite a few options here, so do just make sure you go and select the right one. Then come right to the bottom, we've got destination and destination file, and you then need to go and click on browse and go and locate where you want this to be saved. So personally, I want it on my desktop once again, but one really important thing to do is, is come down to the file name and you need to make sure MP4 is written. As you can see, .mov is, so make sure you change that to .mp4, and then you can go and click save. Then once you've done that and you're ready, go and click start and it's gonna go and start the conversion progress. The progress bar is gonna be used down here. As you can see, it's moving across. Now the time taken is gonna depend on the length of the video. In my case, it's not that long at all as it's quite a short video. But now it's gonna be going and finished and as you can see, it already appears on the desktop. It will appear earlier, but you won't be able to open it up till that bar's fully finished and it's sort of processed. But now we can go and close off of the VLC media player and so here we go. As you can see, we've now got an MOV. If I hover over it, it's gonna say MOV file. And then we hover over the MP4. It says item type MP4 file. And there we go. They're exactly the same, just converted. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.